Well, folks, we got some pretty big news right now. Everybody's breaked up right now. Everybody's shaking. Everybody's excited. But I, I want to mind you this, right? PlayStation 6 is coming in 2027, 2028. This story is kind of linked with that, and a lot of people are not necessarily pointing that out. Some people are believing the story is real. Once you hear it, you're also going to be shaking, I guess. But oh, oh, he he here's the thing, right? Uh, apparently, some people think that it might be a thing for PS5 Pro and not necessarily normal PS5, and that is the PS3 games on PS5. Like the video if you just want to take your PlayStation 3 disc and play on PlayStation 5. We're gonna get right into this one. Roll it. The final story of the video, PS3 full backwards compatibility on PlayStation 5. So, the backwards compatibility for discussion for the PlayStation 5 has been going on for years, as we yep, know. Emulation yep, discussions yep. obviously uh, started before the talks of it coming to the PlayStation 5. People were talking about it coming to the PlayStation 4 as well. Yeah. But focusing on the PlayStation 5. Man, it, it is absolute insanity that we couldn't play our PS3 games on PS4. Everybody thought that we weren't gonna have it on PS5 and these seconds couldn't even figure that one out but now we're hearing that they're gonna but but also you never know right it might be a thing for PS5 Pro or maybe even PlayStation 6. Yay we might have to wait a couple of years guys but but the good news is that they're saying for normal PS5. I hope it's true. Wait for it. We're gonna talk Five, about it. Though back in 2020, we had Hip Hop Gamer speak on a remastering engine coming to the PlayStation 5. He spoke of being able to use your disc, PS1, PS2, PS3, uh, put it in your PlayStation 5, and those games would automatically be updated using a remastering engine, and this feature would be ready for the launch of the PlayStation 5. But that obviously not, huh? did not happen at launch with the PlayStation 5, and disc support isn't a thing yet either, and we don't have any remastering engine as he described. Yeah. But he was pushing... Do you guys think this is a big deal year or nay i i think it's not necessarily a big deal but it is a big deal yeah. like i, I want to play like older ps3 games absolutely on ps5 as well like yeah i mean it's a, it's the tank of the convenience right of course like i want new games as well but where are the new games right <laughs> we're not even getting any new games man so games really really are having a terrible time and i also really want to sell my fat ps3 though you you know what i mean just keep only one console around it would be just amazing it would be just very easy uh, convenient as well that you can use your ps3 games on ps5 absolutely like the video if you agree with that man for ps1 ps2 ps3 to be a thing on playstation 5 back then me and him spoke on the topic yesterday and he stated that disc support is still a thing and it's coming so while we don't have some of the stuff he it's mentioned coming, if we see disc support coming in the future that's something I've only heard from him, and I hope it happens. But to continue on with emulation and focusing on uh -oh. PS3, we also had Jeff Grubb mention that PS3 emulation was coming as well, but it needs time. That was years ago at this point that he mentioned that. Moore's Law is dead, the person who leaked the PlayStation 5 Pro. How much more time y'all suckers need, man? So we have been hearing this that we're gonna have it on PS4, or at least people were asking about it on PS4, but the leaks came out back in 2020. Yo, 2020 was not a good year, bro. Like, what, what we had. We had the Roni situation, right? We also had Dr. Disrespect getting banned as well, and you probably know what happened because everybody's covering that story. We have covered that story extensively as well. So, yeah, 2020 was not a good year, and that year we also heard about this, uh, that we're gonna get PS, uh, PS3 games, you're gonna be able to play the PS3 games on PS5, but apparently that's not true. Uh, so far, right? But now that rumor is sparking once again, and it says that we're gonna be able to. Some people believe that it's just gonna be like, bruh, like, we're gonna be able to on PS6. <laughs> and, <laughs> and if that's true, we gotta wait a couple more years, but nah, the rumor says PS5, and I hope it's true. What are your thoughts? Prospects also stated that Sony is uh, working on PS3 emulation and he actually mentioned that Sony should just release select PS3 games because they have some of them working on PlayStation 5. Keep note of that because it relates to we today's story. All. We also have We want all, bro. We want all. Gamers demand uh, gamers demand more. Gamers demand, uh, demand all. Like the video if you agree. I had Rithian talk about PS3 emulation, but he said it's in a rough state and Sony is pushing it to the PlayStation 6. That was the last discussion we had on this topic. And now over the weekend, so this is today's story, we had another person mention PS3 emulation and that is Special Nick over on X. Oh, he stated that 
uh, on the Xbox Era podcast that Sony will be bringing select PS3 games to the PlayStation 5 to download. He also stated that he doesn't know if it'll have FPS boost or anything special like that. He just stated that Sony is set to bring select PS3 games Man. to the PlayStation 5, similar to what Man. Moore's Law is Dead said Sony should do. This in itself... Uh, and if you're an Xbox Andy, don't do helicopters. Don't start doing helicopters with your really... I, I know, like, the Xbox Andys uh, always make fun of that with, with the Sony ponies, right? The Sony ponies also, I get it. Like, Sony ponies also make fun of the Xbox Andys. I mean, yeah, banter is fine, though. And, and yeah, I absolutely agree, bro. Like, Xbox, that's w w what they got, right? Like, they got the backwards compatibility, and it's a very good feature. PlayStation is lacking that big time. And right now, both PlayStation and Xbox are lacking good and new games, bro. <laughs> Where are the games, bro? Where are the games? Because right now, it's just drama. It's leaks. It's the woke stuff and the Dr. Disrespect news in gaming. That's it. That's it. Games are being woke. Dr. Disrespect banned, okay? And, 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 and no new games. That's what's up. So this is by far the only good news that we're getting. And I, I hope this comes through, bro. I hope this comes through, bro. I hope this comes through. Is it new? Because really, that's how emulation works anyways. Select Xbox 360 games and Xbox games have returned to the Xbox One and Xbox Series consoles, for example. Uh, you don't have access to the entire library of each of those classic consoles. This mm. is the same for PS1, PS2, and PSP games on PlayStation 5. It's only select games Yay. the specific thing though here he mentions nick he mentions uh, ps5 only which goes back to something Brand. i actually said not too long ago which is is sony waiting for more people to shift to the playstation 5 to release the PlayStation 3 emulator. Considering about half the PlayStation player base is on PS4, those people won't be happy about paying the same price as PS5 players who use premium but not have access to PS3 downloads. Oh, I hope that's man, not the case, no. so Sony could just hey, start yo. releasing. Hey, yo, hey, 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 hey. What, we, what are we talking about? So you're saying that like they're gonna bring it on the PlayStation Plus? I thought this was gonna be a disc-based feature where you can use your PS3 disc, pop inside the PS5 and play that way. That's what I want. I don't want it. Like, listen, I got some PS3 games, bro. <laughs> what the hell? You're telling me that I gotta, uh, they're only gonna bring those PS3 games on a premium subscription for PlayStation Plus? What the hell, bro? Nah, man, say you swear to God, bro classic ps3 games sooner instead of trying to wait for so many people from the playstation 4 to shift to the playstation 5 this would actually be a feature that would motivate people to get a playstation 5 and move over from the playstation 4 if anybody at sony is listening we'll see how that goes because i'm really curious what sony does with i, I want real backwards compatibility i want the real disc based version like the video if you agree the guys. killzone 20th anniversary considering they have ps2 emulation now they can bring killzone 1 locally playable on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, but Killzone 2 and 3 are only on PlayStation 3, so they'd have to either bring them back uh, for just streaming, which would suck because they were already there yeah. for years on PlayStation Now just like that, or they could bring them back as some of the first downloadable PlayStation 3 games later this year. Or Man. what I would rather them do is actually remaster Killzone 2 and 3, 4K 60fps, DualSense, all of that great stuff, and remake Killzone 1. But of course, <laughs> that's, that's asking way too much of Sony. So yeah. we'll see how that goes, but you guys let Man. me know if you're happy to hear PS3 downloads are potentially coming or if you don't care. Uh, yeah. Okay, a step I get. No, man, like I want disk based. I want like backwards, like real backwards compatibility. I wouldn't mind the download thing if it's if that means I don't have to pay more if I already own the game. Yeah. What we, uh, but it feels like that they're gonna put it behind a premium subscription and you would have to pay more, bruh. Okay, I was not ready about this plot twist, though. This what happened to Dr. Disrespect. We have an update to the story after his statement. We got another update, and yeah, a lot of people are really, really asking for his uh, cancellation. A lot of people are saying deep platform him. It's just absolutely wild. Check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.